Hi, Dave Baglin here, product specialist for Agco Application Equipment, based out of Oklahoma. Uh, here today to talk a few things uh, about a few features that we have in our Accu terminal. And I'm going to start with our cruise control speeds. We now have two cruise controls, a cruise one and a cruise two, that allows us to set either a field and a headland turn. So when we're running in the field, we're no longer having to move the joystick. We can simply just hit our cruise one, cruise two. And to set those switches, Inside the Accu terminal here, I have a cruise one and a cruise two. And simply just highlight the box. And let's say cruise one is going to be my field speed. I'll set it at 15. And I want to turn around at five miles an hour. I set it at five. Now I have those speeds set into the system. Uh, another way that we can actually set those speeds is uh, just get up to our desired speed, drive to our desired speed, push and hold the cruise speed switch and that will lock that in. Once those are locked in, running down through the field or on the road, I can actually come over here and I have an increase and decrease. And each time I push one of these buttons, that will increase and decrease by 1.1 miles per hour. The other thing I want to talk about is our drivetrain management, or I also call it the engine auto, uh, the auto engine control. So we no longer have to run full throttle out in the field all day. We can set the engine throttle uh, for the field as well as running down the road. So in the field, of course, to set my engine throttle, I come over here to my wrench, come into my setting here, and you'll notice I've got 1650. 1650 is the least amount of RPMs I need to run my systems at 100% capacity. So in field mode, I have this set at 1650. In road mode, I will actually set this at a thousand. So when I do have to come to a stop and moving back to the plant, I have to come to a stop. Uh, when I do, my engine idle will come down to 1,000 RPM. The next thing I'd like to talk about is sensitivities, joystick and cruise sensitivities. If you see, I come to my plus button here. I can come in and I can set my sensitivities on how aggressive or less least aggressive I want this joystick and, and these other functions to work. So it's a one by four bar graph. One is the least aggressive, four is the most aggressive. So I have a setting for forward motion. I have a setting for reverse motion. I also have a setting for how quick it's going to respond when I go from cruise one to cruise two. And I also have a setting for my shuttle shift for when I do my shuttle shift, how quick it's going to stop and how quick it's going to back up. Speaking on the shuttle shift, I want to highlight the shuttle shift as well. Located here on the joystick, on the side of the joystick here, I have a propel enable button. So when I'm moving through the field and need to work a corner, instead of having to come to a complete stop, go to reverse, go back to uh, come come to a complete stop, go to neutral, then go to reverse. Now I just have to press in my propeller enable, move my joystick to the left, and the machine will come to a stop and back up. And vice versa, when I'm ready to go forward, I just push in the propeller enable again, come to the left, stop, go forward. Now once I start moving forward, I simply hit my cruise speed switch, and then I'm back up to my field speed. I appreciate you taking the time today to watch the feature video of the day. Uh, for more information or to arrange an on-site field demo, please contact your nurse Agco application dealer. You may also find more information on our website at www.applylikepro.com or download our free app uh, from the App Store. Just search for Agco Assistance Sales App. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks.